Okay, YouTube. Today we are in the tier seven battleship California, and let's see what happens. Now this is this is like the sixth game which I'm playing in a day. Five have been losses. There have been all of them have been hundred k plus, and at this moment I'm pretty fucking angry at the matchmaking. Like stop giving me bad games. Stop giving me bad teams. I'm doing my best to win, and I finally get a win. And while I'm doing that. I somehow managed to get second highest score maybe on the entire world in the California. So let's see how this game goes. Uh, looking at it, like the first thing that you can notice there are 3 DDs, DSM top tier finally. Now you can actually overmatch it because there are cruisers which are overmatchable instead of you having to spam HE or go to positions that get your cruiser broadsides. Bit easier gameplay, I know right. And then you have this ship in itself it's basically a new max hull at tier 7 with a humongous reload it's basically a big chonker 14 inch shells but 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 the one thing that people do not really expect of this ship is its concealment of 11.8 that is ready fucking killers i'm pretty sure i outspot almost all cruisers that i see in this meta other than the what are those called? Light cruisers? Maybe, yeah. Other than that, I think I outspot almost all. So, you won't be surprised by a cruiser. The cruiser will most likely be surprised by you. But for that, the cruiser has to approach you. There is no way you can chase it. 20 knots, in turn, you are going to do 17, 18. And you have to keep moving in the ship. If you are stationary, you will not reach anything anywhere. You can't get shit done. You have to keep moving. It's not too fast. And it's not even, you know... Not even particularly fast, not even particularly, uh, what should you say, tanky. But there is one thing in the ship which makes it really good to play. And those are its guns. The guns are fucking amazing. It's a 12 gun broadside, very very big for tier 7. Along with that you get a 1.9 ridiculous sigma. So sometimes you get volleys that are just meant for the citadels, you know. Gives the old Montana vibes. And here we see that our Nunberg is already suiciding. Like, I, do, I don't understand what is going on with this player's mindset right now. I don't understand. Nunberg has more sh guns at the back, less guns in the front. If some of you are new, you new viewers, what, what would you do? Like, if you have more guns in the back, less in the front, how will you exactly approach the enemy, reversing towards them, something like that, right? But thankfully, the Nunberg is dead, but the Koenigsberg did with something very similar, charged in a cap, kept spotting, kept shooting, and well, he's dead. Now, who's capping B? I have no fucking clue at this moment, who even cares, right? Look at our Sims. Sims is doing there, doing his own thing, and the enemy Nicholas just... What the fuck? There's a Nicholas in my face. That was exactly my reaction. There's a fucking DD in my face. What is happening? And now I understood why the Koenigsberg was pushing. The Koenigsberg was expecting a fucking smoke from this Nicholas closer. <laughs> <laughs> expecting team play from random teammates. Yeah, have a good time Koenigsberg. And finally, people from my team managed to hit him and he dies. But you did you guys notice that? That... DD close range, 6 out of 12 shells, took half his HP. That's really cool, that's really nice. And now comes the Konig Park. Oh my, full HP hasn't been touched by hands of man. Looks tasty as fuck. And now you will see what I mean when this sh when I say that this ship has one of the most accurate battleship guns I have ever 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 played. Look at those shells. Oof. And that's a devastating strike right there. 7 hits, 1 citadel, bow on devastating strike. Those are rare, rare things to happen in World of Warships these days. And you sh could have seen one more thing happening there. Wow's engine auto-corrected my aim. I didn't aim where the shells landed, I aimed a bit to the left and the shell shell still hit to the right. I'll take it. I will take it, honestly. Because simple thing is, it happens negatively to you where the autocorrect aims out and sometimes it hits you. Hits it for you. It's okay. I'm happy with that. But now look at my team. Look at my team's positioning. There's no one in B. 
Like there are some cruisers in B, but there's a BB going there, there's a Congo going there. What is our DJ doing? Sims not really interested in capping and stuff. There's a Konigsberg there. What can he do? It's Konigsberg, come on. And there's a Pyotr coming there, there's a Normandy coming there. There's a Hoot somewhere there as well. And on the other flank, our Bliskavitsa, uh, oh, the enemy Bliskavitsa is just dump dumpstering stuff. He actually played well this game. If he would have stayed alive, they could have won, but well. Now I get vision, finally get vision on the Dallas and I, I, I smell a second devastating strike, honestly. I, I hear, I smell blood. So I take a shot. I want it to hit his citadel somewhere there and I don't want it to hit somewhere near his main belt and bounce. So let's see what happens. Looks like a great volley, but sadly, I think I aimed a bit too high or he just stopped his reverse and I hit him for seven over pins but you see there those are that was nine out of twelve shell hits on a bb on a cruiser that's amazing that's like not just amazing it's beautiful to see but finally finally someone is in the cap someone is in the c cap it's free or moormans is capping it because i'm too slow to reach it or nicholas is in b5 why is there nicholas in b5 no idea why is there sims in f2 again no idea Maybe the Sims had some mission going on where he had to hit ships with his guns. Sincerely, no clue. Taking a pot shot at the Konigsberg. And yeah, one more good thing that the ship has is the range. Especially at this tier, the cruisers will not and 100% will not expect shells coming at them from 22 km away. They will not. Shells coming at them from anything more than 16, 17 km away, it's a surprise. And unlike, uh, let us say, Congo shells, because Congo has similar range. These, they, these are 12 of them and they are more accurate so you can just straight line take these shots on cruisers and most more often than not they will straight line and they are going to eat eat shit this is basically vermont experience at tier 7 from what i've heard about the vermont so if you got if you know how to position if you like know how to make those slow bb plays then this ship is good for you otherwise this is just a torture in my honest opinion if you dislike slow battleships this ship will just be a torture for you but anyway then taking a shot at the pewter he is far away even he won't be expecting but i think he just turns in a bit in general and he that shot misses but this nicholas is i don't know why i think yeah he's smoking up the more monks there but the moon was just just is going to glide out from there. Boot showing full broadside. Now showing full broadside. This ship cannot overmatch, right? This has 14 inch 14 inch shells. This cannot overmatch. But if you show broadside and if you take good accurate aims, my god, my god, this ship deals a lot of damage to broadside. See? Simple 10 11 k chunk there. And this is at 12 km. And Hood is quite nicely armored on the broadside. So I will take it. I will take it any day. Now looking at that Konigsberg, that Konigsberg has to do one thing. Hydro in. Hydro the Bliska, push him out and we kill him. But for some reason he charges the Bliska, doesn't even shoot once and dies. Okay, maybe shot once but that's not enough. Bliska has a lot of HP. Like quite a bit of HP when compared to Konigsberg DPM. So... I take a shot, 3k, but he stays alive. Can't the turret traverse on this ship is very slow. I can't turn my turrets. But here I have to I have to take a risk, right? I have to have to do something at B. Have to because this Colorado, I there's no way I can chase him, there's no way I can overmatch him. He will kill me in no 1v1. That Kyonic is too far away. This ship is not this, this ship is not good enough to just push in and do stuff this is too slow and that hood is there on my broadside uh, but i need to secure and stop them from getting b that's exactly what i'm trying to do and i'm trying to take a pot shot at the colorado seeing his full broadside but he is not moving why is he not moving well guess away i have no idea Anyway, here I have to show broadside to the hood. Now, this is a risky play. This is very, very, very risky. Somehow, I have already garnered 81k and being at tier 7 top tier, 81k is a lot of damage. But anyway, we have the damage. 
that's cool. Showing full broadsheet to the hood. I'm trying to use the Bliska smoke to, you know, sort of uh, hide me. But now I'll be swatted by the Normandy anyway. And taking a shot at the hood broadsheet. The hood hasn't learnt. One thing is firing HE. Why, why is the hood firing HE? It has shit HE. But okay, man. Whatever floats your boat. And that was a casual 19k volley. Or 18k, whatever. Don't show broadside to the ship, it's gonna hurt. It doesn't matter. I have smacked IOAs at 10km for like 25k, hitting 10 to 11 chills on your in the upper belt. Don't mess with the ship. Now, our Nicholas does one very nice thing. He eliminates the DD. And once the DD is gone, what's stopping me from pushing? Normandy cannot overmatch me. Pewter Velki cannot overmatch me. Dallas, what will you do? Dallas doesn't have the DPM to kill me. So... Here I just decided, you know what, fuck it, let's push. Let's push and yeah, one more thing you would have noticed is I have kept the mini map really big. So I am actually following what uh, PQ said in his video about using the mini map to use to aim better because mini map is the only true indication of where your shells are going to land, sort of where you are aiming. So I adopted it and it's been working really fine for me. So that's that's something cool. And name already exists. Very innovative name. Big brain. Now here, I don't know what that Pyotr is doing. He is ET spamming, bowing on. But bowing on is the best thing he can do. But I need to get his broadside. Some one way or the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn around the island. He will think that I ran away. A sort of turning away. And what will he do? He will charge. And that's, that's the only way I can catch him. I cannot catch him when he's reversing. He's too fast for me to catch. This is a mobility scooter battleship after all. So, Hood, Hood has burned down the Colorado. The Colorado gets very angry on the team because he... Yeah. Your team is much better. Well, Colorado, are you really sure about that? Are you really sure about that? And the other thing is like, Come on, you are a Colorado, stuck there, reversing, bow on, to three BBs. What did you expect was going to happen? Like, he has been there for the past 10 minutes. What is he doing? What what was he achieving? If he was kiting out, I, I, was, I would have been like, yeah, okay. At least he's doing something, but mm, I don't get what he's doing right now. Normandy is full broadside, so let's see if we can delete him. But, but here I see, I was actually planning of shooting him. But, and yeah, this was a risky turn. Normandy could have done a lot of damage to me if he had all his guns ready. But the thing is, I had to take a risk. At this point, look at the enemies, look at the scores. Enemy has a ship lead, enemy has a points lead. If I don't take a risk and make things work out, the thing is going to happen. This Piotr fucked up. Boha, hey, hey, you fucked up. You do not do this. Especially don't try to brawl, brawl the California. This thing has underwater citadel. You're not going to hit it. And that's way too much broadside. And then again, look at that dispersion. Holy shit. Seven shell hits. Three citadels. Devastating strike. And boy, someone is surprised. Someone is fucking surprised. And of course, I think he might have faced it for the first time. I'd have seen California close range for the first time. But yeah, that is one more reason why you do not, do not, do not underestimate this ship's accuracy. Because these guns move slow, reload slow, but they hit like a truck and they hit very well. Normandy trying to do some damage, but yeah, bye bye. See ya. Good game, everyone. Now it's time to go back. We have a ship lead, thanks to me deleting two of them. We will al almost have a points lead as well because we got two caps as well. And the Konigsberg and Dallas are just flanking. Flanking? Against whom? No idea. Maybe the Bayern? Eh. They, I think they just believe that two of their BBs will push B and they will keep pushing to A. But I just thought, thwarted their plans, didn't I? <laughs> I love doing that. But... Mr. Konigsberg. So one thing I have noticed about this Konigsberg is he pays attention to who is shooting him. So he is a not bad player at least. And at this tier, cruisers are very nimble and they turn quick. So it's if someone is paying attention, it's sort of not easy to aim at them. 
I won't say it's very difficult or something, it's not easy. And apparently, and like, at this moment I see 4 kills, trying to get my 5th. Was it bad shot? I don't think that was bad shot, I think that was RNG just dipping the shells below. But I don't know. I didn't even expect the Dallas to be that fast honestly, but... My shells landed a bit too low for my liking. So I was like, you know what, let the others finish the Dallas. But he's at 800 HP, I don't want him to escape. Apparently, my sims is shattering on him, so... I take another shot, another shot. Like, just trying to be cheeky, impressive here, just fire one turret. The Chad, look at the Chad, look at the shells go, MLG, A <laughs> between the superstructure. Uh, now I was begging to God, give me my fifth kill, please, no. Not allowed. Kraken unleashed his band. Illegal stuff, honestly. Konigsberg. Konigsberg is harassing our Hawkins. Konigsberg is already A in a kiting position and I'm pretty sure he has better reload and better shella, what is it called, ballistics than the Hawkins. So the Hawkins might need help. And I have a lot of range, I have nothing else to shoot. So I'll just look at him. I don't want my shells to hit the island, I want my entire salvo out. And as you can see, if you have been observing, he's constantly moving around, turning, blah, blah, blah. So I just take a shot considering how he will move. Now he's very close to the border. He can't really go too much to the right. But this guy turns out at battleship shot. So I just sort of aim two turrets for a straight line and two turrets for his turn. And let's see what happens. Yep, this is exactly what I want from a battleship. Shells go where they shoot, where I aim. That is the most amazing thing in any battleship. Doesn't matter, speed doesn't matter, tankiness doesn't matter. If your shells go where they shoot, after you wait for 30, 30, 40 seconds, that's the last, that's the only thing that you actually need. And Kali also gets very good AA actually. If this thing had defensive AA, this would be actually an amazing ship, not gonna lie. But AA and the consumable both are a bit butchered. You no need to get on that. Now Mr. Hood is showing broadside again. He has not learned. And I can citadel him at this range, but there is no need. Look at those shells again. Six shellets. And if he had more HP, that would have been eight, nine, ten shellets. Easily. And like I should might not have shown broadside, but I wanted to disengage. Because I knew I could delete the hood in one volley. And then I had to disengage, so I had to take that volley. That damage was coming sooner or later, but I did not want to be in a situation where I am bow on to a hood and a Colorado. Because Colorado can chunk me 15k for every volley. Yep, he's showing broadside, so I will do the same. But even if I am angled, he can do the same to me. So, actually at this point I realized that we have a significant ship and points lead. And our sims might throw because he's open water gun boating. And we have a cap lead from my Herculean efforts of trying to carry the game, obviously. Our victory is in sight. So let's see what what happens. So at this point I was like, you know what, let's just secure the victory and kite away. I was actually a bit paranoid, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Honestly, the, from the games that I've seen in the past days, really. And Konek, Konek, poor Konek, showing full broadside again. Make, all of them made the same mistake. Showing full broadside. This ship will chunk you very, very hard. And, uh, you know, at this point I had this second thought. Like, maybe I should have just pushed in or maybe I should have stopped my kiting. But, you know, you cannot, you cannot stop your, sh your friendly ships from suiciding. So you prevent your own suicide. So I won't get any more damage at this point, but boy, this game was tough and getting wins in this ship has been fairly tough for me as well. And I'm still, I still have like 104 k average damage in, in the California, but like getting wins is being so tough. I don't know why. I mainly spam EP as well, so I don't know. But anyway, this was a very close game, had to be carried and was a successful carry. And the Hawkins played really well as well. Both of us have like 9 kills. That is all the kills in the enemy team. Almost. So th that was that was fun.
these are the post battle results and actually when i saw this damage i asked on discord i asked my friends like what is the max damage on the california but they are like wolfies so one of my friends from czech republic or oh, the slower i'm sorry lolly wolf he plays on the eu server as well he has the world record for california numbers 238000 and i'm second just after him so that that feels good or uh, second on eu and third on in the world i think so this was the game these are the battle results close quarter confederate high caliber blah 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 of course top of the team 3k base xp this was a bit surprising but present surprise and the less lot of damage blah 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 lots of credit turned lots of commander xp and as well and what what can i say this ship hurts a lot sometimes a player who is playing it as well but i'm going to keep playing it and this will be fun i hope you like the video hope you like the game as well and stay tuned for more thank you